Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this video where I'm going to give you a few more tips on how to do well in the BMAT essay. Now, don't feel the need to define every single scientific term. Now, it is very, very useful to define words that are, like, you know, relevant. But don't define every single word because this takes up so much of your word count and the examiner will generally know what you're referring to. Whenever they ask you to define something, however, definitely, definitely do define that, okay? Because you do get marks for it. Try, to, try not to make your own views too obvious. So that I mentioned this earlier, like, a lot of essays I read are very, very biased and because they think, oh, I have to give an opinion at the end, so my whole essay has to be biased. That's not necessarily the case. An essay which considers both sides of the argument is likely to appear balanced. And at the end, you can say whether you agree towards one side or another, but never say, I think this, I think that. Like That comes across as very biased. Also, don't make up information as facts. Now, the examiners will check to verify that your facts make sense. So if you do make up any facts on the spot, don't, basically, because they will find out if you've you know, made them up and you'll be penalised for quality of content. Stick to what you know and try and think of examples that you know are certain for a fact, okay? Also use lots of examples. So it's essential to use case studies in your BMAT essay. When you make points, you need to supplement them with real life case studies. Start reading the news regularly to be up to date with hot topics to use for examples. If you have a good general knowledge, then you have a head start. But if you don't, you can still catch up, don't worry. Read the news and tactically research certain generic topics that you can apply to multiple essays. Reading the NHS news section or technology section on the BBC Health page is a good way to keep up to date with medical developments. Also, don't feel the need to include diagrams. Now, it does say on the BMAP paper that you can use diagrams if you feel it enhances communication. But in my opinion, it does take up a lot of space and doesn't generally benefit your essay. It's up to you whether or not you want to include a diagram. I judge it and see, you know, is it really worth it? How many words will it take up? But to be honest, I generally advise against it. Okay? Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all 8 ebooks, click here now.